Hi all, it's Rage from Spiritual and Angelic Guidance. I'm here to do a reading for Leo. Now this will be for the 18th to the 24th of October 2021. If you've seen my readings before, welcome back. Thanks for the support. If you haven't, welcome to my channel. I hope it resonates. If it does, please don't forget to share, like and subscribe. Don't forget it's a general reading. It is not going to suit every single person out there. So please take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Also time can be fluid, energy can be vice versa. So let's keep that in mind. Okay, Leo, let's do one more shuffle. Let's take it to the 24th. Okay, Leo, what's going on with Leo? Okay. All right, let's start. So on the bottom of the deck, you've got the Knight of Swords and the Hangman in reverse. The Hangman's in reverse. So first of all, there's something that you are stalling. There's something that you don't want to make a decision about. There's something that... You're just kind of, you're needing to do the, take time and, and reflect and get some insight. But I feel like you, you kind of, you're kind of resisting that. You kind of, you know, you know, it's going to make, you're going to have to make a decision. You know, you're going to have to do something about something. You're delaying it. You're resisting, stalling, all that sort of stuff. Now, I feel like once you make a decision though, I feel like there are going to be something's going to happen quite quickly. It's going to happen with quite with um, great speed, and I feel like you need to make sure you choose intellectual responses to whatever challenge you have, rather than the emotional. Your head and your heart need to be in alignment, but I feel like don't base it just on how your heart's feeling. Like you need to use your head as well, um, and. But something might happen suddenly, but I feel like you need to review the options carefully. So um, the Knight of Swords is also about someone who um, relies on facts and logic and, you know, likes the truth and justice and is determined and goal-oriented, driven to succeed, you know, ambitious, that kind of person as well. They're defensive, um, focused, but they like to be decisive. Now, whether this is you or whether this is someone else, but there's going to be something that's going to happen quite quickly. Um, just make sure that I, I feel like in this case, I feel like it's you resisting and stalling, but you are going to make a decision, but make sure it's your head and your heart are in alignment. And it's not just based on how you feel in your heart about something. Um, review them carefully. And I feel like that's what it's saying is, yeah, do that. All right. So... Um, on the table, you've got the Queen of Cups, you've got the Four of Wands, you've got the Four of Cups and the Ace of Cups, and then you've got the Ace of Pentacles in reverse and the Six of Wands in reverse. So we will start with the Queen of Cups. Now this is somebody who is very intuitive, somebody who cares for others and sometimes forgets to care for themselves. Um, they have that deep, you know, love of family and friends. Um, but whatever decision you make, as I said, you do need to follow your heart, right? You do need to trust your intuition, but you do need to follow your heart, but make sure that your head and your heart are both involved in it. Like that's what it is. You need to have your head and your heart both involved, but trust your intuition. I'm going to find out more information. So I feel like you don't trust your intuition. And it causes you a lot of anxiety. It causes you maybe to have nightmares, to um, have depression, you know, like you worry, you fear, like, but you feel like there's something. And 
you're not trusting your intuition, right? So there could be, um, with the moon, it can also be about you having inner confusion. It can be about you repressing everything, which is, you know, why are you going through anxiety and fear and depression and whatever. You're repressing everything and not trusting your intuition. Now, there might be, no, now for me, I've learned over the years and I still don't, I still do it sometimes where I don't trust my intuition. Like I know that some, I know that I know that I know that somebody's doing something that they shouldn't, or I know that I know that I know something, right? But I don't always listen and I'm getting better at it I'm, over the years. I mean, it's taken me a long time because at first you feel like you're crazy, but you know stuff that sometimes you don't know. Or what you do know turns out to be right. So I feel like trust your intuition. There might be things going on behind the scenes, with depending on who this is, right? But I'm telling you, this person that's like the queen of cups, like you know, you know whether something's going to be okay for you, right? And if you're not, if something is telling you on your intuition and it's causing you anxiety and fear and whatever, is it really what you want? Can you see what I'm saying? Like maybe it's not for your highest good if something's causing, making you feel that way. But I feel like you're a very intuitive person. I mean, normally the queen, normally the queen of cups, um, queen of cups is normally like a cancer. But I feel like maybe you're also very intuitive, and or you, or even if you're not intu like, even if you're not psychic you might still be intuitive. Um, we all get intuition and, you know, it might take strength, but whatever's going to happen is fated. Like here you are having an ending and a new beginning. Like you, you're meant to make a decision. You're meant to, um, and then heal your heart. Like, I feel like, I feel like you know that's like that's what I want to say I feel like there's something you know that you know and maybe you don't want to accept it or whatever and it's causing you anxiety and fear and worry and not sleeping much and whatever but you know that you know that you know so trust yourself that's all I've got to say yeah this I mean this situation is not offering you your ten of cups they're not offering you your happy family life with stability and oh sorry I don't know why I did that I know it means something. I'm not sure what. Because for someone who never burps in her life, okay, sorry about that. They're not offering you your stability. They're not offering you, yeah, your happy family life. They're not. Now, the judgment in reverse is about you ignoring what you know to be true you're doubting yourself you know you're ignoring the fact even whatever clarity you get or whatever um like you don't want to make a final decision you're just ignoring what you know to be true i'm just going to pop you on pause for one second okay as i said i'm i don't burp right i'm not a burper now, I, I mean, I wanted to find out what the spiritual meaning of burping is because I'm not a burper, especially on camera, but I don't burp in my normal life, right? So burping is an actual form of release. It helps to clear blocked and pent up energy from the solar plexus chakra, which is all about being where our creative center is. So burping is also a way of releasing nervous and anxious energy and can help your body to digest and process new information or emotions. When I'm doing an intuitive reading or practicing Reiki, I will often feel the need to burp. It's how your body releases energy. Now, I was just saying about you needing, you're feeling anxious and you're feeling like it's weird. Like I don't burp. Like you, you, people that know me know that I don't burp, right? It's just not what I do. And I'm telling you, like you need, like it's a sign for me. I mean, I even looked up yawning, right? Because I yawn a lot when I do these readings. And I've always thought it means, like, I want to yawn right now. 
I feel like it's always all about when people are tired, I get like I'm, um, emp em I'm an empath, so I feel what other people are feeling a lot of the time. And I feel that when I yawn, it's generally because someone's feeling very drained, exhausted, that kind of situation, right? Because of whatever they're going through in their life. I didn't know. It's also a way of um, restoring your energy levels. Sorry. It's about releasing negative energy from the body to replace it with positive energy. It's also about... Um, being open and susceptible to receiving intuitive or spirit guided messages. That's what I'm doing right now. Like that is what I do when I, when I do my readings, I tune in to the universe and, and that is what I do. So every time I yawn or in this case I burp, it's for it's for a reason and it's because you're feeling in maybe it's because there's a situation that you're feeling anxious about you're needing to release that energy and maybe even I need to release that energy because I feel that you know like yeah so anyway now we can move on I, feel, I don't feel so bad <laughs> I don't feel so bad for burping on camera I'm really sorry about it it's not something I would usually do now the three of wands as I said with this situation that's causing you anxiety and fear, um, that's not cause, not giving you your ten of cups and you're needing to trust your intuition about, I feel like it's because it's easier to stay in your comfort zone. Oh, my God. I'm just going to put some more sage on. Um, but I also feel like it's you have a lack of foresight, right? You cannot see past where you are at in your life. You possibly, you know, I mean, you know there's – those situations where you're in a relationship and then you break up and then you think, oh, I'm going to be alone forever. You know, I can't see, you know, oh, I don't want to be 50 and by myself and whatever. Oh, it did not work. Um, yeah, like nobody wants to be alone and we all think that we're never going to find someone and, you know, we have all the negative kind of thoughts. It's that. It's you're clinging on to stuff when – you because you can't see past where you're at right now i'm just going to quickly say to myself hold on okay i actually just looked at the time that i happened to pause it here's another sign for you i see them a lot right 1221 google angel number 1221 because it will mean something as well and one two three four i just saw one two three four another sign okay let's move on because what are we at now 12 minutes okay so as I said, it's about trusting your intuition. It's about trusting your head and your heart. It's about, um, yeah, not wanting to listen to yourself. Oh, my goodness, I'm going to yawn. This is possibly making you feel exhausted as well. Okay, so in the meantime, you are going to be moving on, leaving the past behind with the Four of Wands. This is about having a happy home, relaxing. You know, there might be a celebration of some kind. Um, that you maybe will go to, get invited to, have, whatever. But it's about peace and contentment in your own personal life. So I feel like you realise that this is not a situation for you. Because of what I said, you not trusting your intuition... Upright, this card means deception, secrets, you know, blah, 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 but you're not trusting your intuition about, right? There it is. Seven of Swords, Deception and Envy. That you're not wanting to move on from. Way too many. Another card for Leo. Why are you moving on? I'm going to pass behind. Okay, there's either some sort of clarity or communication that comes in. Maybe you have communication with this person, but there's going to be something that's going to happen, whether you say it or whether someone tells you or there's some sort of clarity or whatever that this person's doing wrong and you go, I'm moving on. Five of Swords. Like, you don't just get the seven <laughs> and the devil card. Okay. You've got like the three worst cards right here. So this person where you're not trusting your intuition about and I don't even know what I did with that other card.
I must have put it back. I don't know. Anyway, so the three worst cards, right? So you've got the Seven of Swords, someone being deceptive. Someone, the Seven of Swords is someone betraying you, acting strategic. They're doing something sneaky, sabotaging you, whatever, right? They're being just a, I, I don't know, a horrible word that is not a horrible word. They're being an asshole is what I'm trying to say, right? They're doing wrong by you. Now, you've also got the Five of Swords and the Devil in Reverse. You need to detach from somebody who is like the devil, who has addictions, who has obsessions, who, you know, this devil person, it, it could just be this, but this is a really unhealthy situation that you need to detach from. It's toxic. As I said, the five and seven of swords, like deception, cheating, stealing, violence, whatever this is for you. They are an asshole. It's a toxic situation that you need to detach from. And work on manifesting what it is you want. You don't want to make a decision though. Like with the, the, the two of swords under that, you're kind of you're kind of stuck, not wanting, you don't know all the facts or whatever. No, you know, this is a bad situation. that you need to detach from but someone's going to communicate so whether they're going to tell you something or whether someone's going to just communicate or maybe it's you and them communicating saying we're done I don't know but you are going to be moving on from this heartbreak that's for sure this person could have been a player with the king of pentacles or really really bad with money um but they're obsessed with money and wealth but I feel like it's more that they could be a player um Work on your self-worth. Work on you being financially independent. Just focus on you for now. And also, as I said, this somebody may try to communicate a truth to you about this person that makes you want to walk away and makes you leave and makes you leave the past behind. Or it could mean that you communicate to this person saying I'm done or whatever. There's some sort of communication that that is being had. Now... I feel like you're going to be upset by this though. Like you're going to be re not realizing how much of a magical opportunity this is because you're, you're too busy focusing on these cups here, right? Focusing on, oh, I'm so sad. I'm alone. I'm lonely. I'm going to be by myself till I'm a hundred, whatever this is, right? You're failing to see this little cup right here, which is being offered. There's going to be another offer coming in. You're never going to be alone. If that's what you think, you're not going to, you know, Whatever it is that's telling you this negative shit in your head, not true. There's going to be something else. So stop focusing on the negative. Focus on that there's going to be something better. This or this opportunity here, better for you. Like this opportunity is going to be amazing. This is going to be what you want, not this shit that's, that's toxic and they're doing wrong by you. And you know what? You are going to have a fresh new start in love. I'm telling you, you are going to have... This beautiful new emotional experience, a romantic relationship, a deep friendship. and a, You're going to have, you know, possibly a love letter. Someone tell you that they love you. Maybe this is the communication that's coming in is this new person. Yeah, because you're going to move on from somebody. You're moving on. And unfortunately, it, it is going to make you, you know, sad. And you, you, but you, so you've got to get out of the negative mindset the victim mindset and be like you know what i'm gonna get something better it's gonna take strength but i'm gonna have boundaries i'm not gonna accept less than now i'm i'm gonna persist i'm gonna have courage i'm going to you know because you know what this situation did not fulfill me it made me bored you know i was depressed i was anxious i was you know it didn't it didn't fulfill me can I ask about the Ace of Cups, please, as well? Look, I don't even need to ask for any more cards. Like, fulfillment of wishes. This new love, fulfillment of wishes. So, once again, stop being sad. Stop focusing on this negative shit here. Focus on there's going to be something amazing coming in that is going to fulfill you, that is going to give you everything you want in your future. It's, if you want to have kids, it's going to give you kids. If you want to get married, it's going to do that. Like you are going to find somebody 
who you probably will have money, safety, shelter, food, all that. You were going to probably live with this person and be married or whatever the situation is for you. High level commitment. But they're going to give you what it is you want. They're going to have the same morals as you. They're going to have the same values as you, expectations as you. I just saw 2002. Maybe Google that number as well. Angel number 2002. Um, I feel like you're getting a lot of messages from the universe and I feel like it's telling you that you are going to get what it is you want. You are going to get your wishes fulfilled. At the same time, you are going to move on from this situation that is toxic as shit. Let's be honest. And I'm sorry if you don't like cursing. I'm like, sorry, that's part of who I am. Now, Page of Pentacles, like learn from whatever has not worked for you. And I feel like this person could have been somebody who was cold hearted, deceitful, sly with the Queen of Wands. They could have been bitchy, easily influenced, that kind of person. But I feel like with the with the Page of Pentacles, learn from that. And also now work on manifesting what it is you do want, which is this situation that's going to give you your wishes fulfilled. You're going to have choices to make. At the moment, you're stalling, you're resisting, you don't want to make the choice, but you have the choice. And you know what? I'm telling you, if, if, if this was the choice that I had, I know where I'd be going. Do I want this person, this person, this person? Do I want this person who's going to make my life a living hell? Do I want this person who's going to give me everything I want that's going to be an amazing relationship? I mean, even look at the colours for God's sake. Like reds and oranges and, oh, they look mean and evil. And then you've got oh, yellows and greens and blues and all nice looking pictures. I know which one I would prefer. It ain't this one, that's for sure. I don't want to be heartbroken and have someone beat me and steal from me and lie to me and blah, 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 blah. You need to withdraw. Do some soul searching. Do some introspection. Do withdraw from this situation. That's what I'm hearing. And you are going to do that as much as you're trying to avoid to do that. Do some work on you because what you want is a firm foundation. It's definitely a spiritual lesson for you as well. And you are going to move on from the heartbreak. As much as you probably can't see that right now. Oh, where were we at? We're at this one. Now, we don't need to ask any more cards about that Ace of Cups. Like, we know that you're going to get your wishes fulfilled. It's going to be amazing. I don't need to get any more. Now, the situation that didn't turn out that you're moving on from, I mean, it's probably just a lost opportunity. You could have lost money because of this person. Um, you've also got the Six of Wands in reverse. Like, you know... It's probably due to your lack of confidence that you kept on with this person. And, you know, it could have been about their ego that that's why they held on to it as well. It could have even have been that. But I feel like you work on your self-worth. That's all I've got to say because it could have affected you. And you probably tolerated it a lot less than what you should have just because of just because of this. Yeah, like you were trapped. You felt like you were stuck. You felt like you... Because of your lack of confidence, you just felt like you were stuck. You've got the two and the three of wands. Like, you know, you're thinking about your future. You're trying to make plans, but at the same time, you're actively waiting. And whether you're just waiting for this person to become who you think they should be or you're waiting for something to get better, it doesn't work that way. You need to, because you feel trapped, you know, you had lack of hope. You need to take back power. Speak how you feel. You're not trusting your intuition about this situation either, like I keep saying. But at the same time, you're discontent and bored, like it said underneath that. So here you are. Wait a minute, where did it go? Here you are having lack of hope. And here it is telling you. You are going, this is like the best card in the deck, right? Here you are with the best card in the deck, feeling with, you know, low and feeling like crap. But I'm telling you, right, this is how it's going to turn out. As I said, you are going to get your wishes fulfilled with somebody. So this is how it's going to turn out. The sun card, happiness, like material happiness, joyous outcome, success. I don't need to do any other cards but that card. 
because this is amazing. What more do you need to know? Like, this reading is amazing. As much as it's shit that, you know, there's a situation that is toxic and, and horrible for you, you are going to move on. You are going to get some communication or whatever it is. You are going to meet someone new. You are going to have your fulfillment of wishes and everything's going to be fine. Like, what more is there, need, what more is there to know? Make the right decision. You know? Yeah. You don't want to release your ex. Okay, let go of trying to control the situation. Like, the situation that you're trying to control to make this person a better person, it's not working. You can't make someone better than what they are. You know, you're trying to stop this person being an asshole. You can't. All you can control, and I've realized this the last couple of days with shit that I've gone through in my own life, right? And I've known this for a while, but all you can control is you. You can't control anyone else. You may want to try and help other people. You know what? Don't. Work on you. Work on you. Don't try to help anyone because you know what? It comes back. Shoot the messenger. It comes back on you. So what I'm saying, don't try to control situations, even if it means helping someone else or even in your own situation. Just let it let it unfold, unfold naturally. If someone's going to hurt you, they're going to hurt you. It's going to come out eventually. The truth always comes out. You know, like there was probably a lack of attraction um, at the moment. You know, it was all about divine timing for you as well and maybe you know things will happen for you but the time is not right quite yet because of this situation you need to release your ex that you're not doing um so therefore i don't even feel like you're getting to know anyone else right now like you're so busy focusing on this past person that you're not open to meeting anyone new right now um but i feel like also you don't know this new person I feel like it could be someone new coming in for a lot of you or you didn't have a past life together, but there is going to be true love. But once again, you need to work on your codependency and heal any family issues you have because you know why? You need to love yourself first and know, as I said, it's all about self-worth, right? If you had self-worth, you wouldn't be tolerating this deception. Yeah, see it for what it is. At the moment, somebody looks like, you know, they're all this glitter and they attract, you know, oh, I'm so handsome looking and, you know, I can look like I'm gold glittering out at you and attracting you and whatever. But underneath, they're not really gold. You know, so make sure you see past the mask, past how someone appears to be and see them for who they really are. And I mean, you, as I said, this could even be you having wishful thinking that somebody's gold. What's that? What's that? There's a quote about you can't, something about shit. I can't think of what the quote is. Uh, what is that quote? If someone knows that quote, tell me what it is. But it was like pretty much shit is shit, right? Literally poo is exactly what it is, right? You can't, even if you covered it in gold, shit will always be shit, right? So I feel like see that, see things for what they are. Stop trying the wishful thinking. Stop trying to, and, and believe how people act rather than, you know, what they want to appear like. That's all I'm saying. I want to know what that quote is, so... Let me Google it because I'm curious.
Oh, I don't know. Can't find it, and I don't want to sit here forever. But there was, there's definitely a quote. Does anyone know what it is? It's a quote about oh, shit will always be shit. Like you, even if you, you know, gold coated shit, it's always still just gonna be gold coated shit. Like it's not, it's still shit. Yeah. Anyway, someone tell me what it is because it's gonna do my head in. Oops, that's not good. Okay, Leo, tell me more. You definitely have a lack of hope, which we already know. Like, we know that you have a lack of hope. We've we've seen that, right? Um, you also think that, you know, you're one of these people that believes in tradition and it doesn't mean the traditional sense. Um, how do I explain this? You might be one of these people that thinks, okay, I've spent... 10 years, five years with this person, right? So I don't want to just leave them. Even though I'm miserable, you've got to try and make it work because that's what we're, we're taught, right? Maybe not. That's what I'm hearing. I don't, I, I don't feel like, I want to Google, I want to look up what this is. But I feel like what I'm hearing is, you know, even, yeah, there's tradition and that's what you are taught, Not acknowledging the past in reverse. You're not reassessing your path once again due to, as I said, exactly what I said. So I feel like you think because you've spent so many months, years, whatever, time, you put time in with this person, right? And it's like because I've done this, I don't want to, I'm not one to just walk away. We should try and make it work. Even though this person over here doesn't seem to do the same with you, they're not doing right by you. You don't have to stay in this situation. And once again, I mean, there was a card somewhere that said that you felt like you were trapped. That you felt like, what was that? I might have been on the bottom of the deck. You felt like you were trapped. You felt like you had to stay in this. You know what? You don't have to stay in this. You don't. We're not in the 1950s or whenever this was. You don't have to stay in a situation. If it makes you unhappy and they're doing wrong by you, you don't have to stay. You should work on your happiness. And whether you believe that you should because you put in all this time and effort, you don't. You are going to have some new beginnings coming in. Like I've said, and guess what's on the bottom? Spirit of love. As I said to you, you've got love, dreams, you've got birth. You've also got foresight. You've got empowerment because you're taking back your own power in the situation and being like, enough. Like, it's all good cards. Every single one of them, good cards. Like, this is exactly what's happening. But listen to the guidance that you're given. See the truth for what it is. And then you'll be able to have abundance. Like... This is going to work out great for you is all I've got to say. I can't remember what the last reading was I did for you guys. Let me have a quick look. Yeah, like, okay, well, the last reading I did was all about moving on after heartbreak, but I'm telling you this is amazing, this reading. The situation you're in at the moment, not so great, but things will get better for you. That will be amazing. Just don't make impulsive, reactive decisions. Consider all perspectives. Make a decision, though. It's time to think and make a decision. Somebody is self-absorbed. It's a one-sided relationship. Um, maybe go meet new people at new places. Go and do something social. Yeah, you, you, there's going to be no communication with somebody. Um... You don't want to move on though. You don't want to, you're not growing from this yet, but you need to learn from the past. What's on the bottom? Put up your boundaries. You're being charmed or used. And you are going to meet somebody though who's going to be your twin flame. Someone that's going to be amazing. And whether it's your twin flame, whoever what this person that's coming in that's going to give you a wishes fulfilled, it's that person. Anyway, I better go, 34 minutes. Um, 
and thanks so much for watching i hope it resonates if it does please don't forget to share like and subscribe let me know in the comments what you think as well and i will catch you with the next read thanks for watching bye